Yes, and today's segment is intended for when you have a little bit more time to commit to your yoga practice, so maybe on a day off when you're not training. So we're going to do a series of warrior poses and stretches and breathing so you can get a little bit more of a complete practice in. So let's go ahead and start in a seated position. And again, if your hips are really tight, remember you can prop yourself up on some pillows or if you have a yoga block, do that. And what you want to do is align your posture so your chest feels like it's lifted and your ears, shoulders, and hips feel aligned. You can go ahead and rest your knee, uh, hands down onto your knees or turn your palms to face up and bring your thumb and index finger together to touch. Go ahead and close your eyes and let's start with three deep breaths in and out through the nose. So inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Keep breathing out until the lungs are empty and then start again. Inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, keep breathing out until the lungs are empty. And one more time, deep breath in, sitting up tall. And a long, slow exhale to relax and ground yourself. Go ahead and set an intention for your practice, carving out this time to practice self-care and to recharge your batteries. Take just a few moments to be still and quiet your mind. Go ahead and open your eyes and bring your feet out and around behind you into child's Remember, it's always important to honor and protect your body. So if your knees, or your hips, or your low back are feeling a little tweaky today, make sure you honor and protect that first and foremost. Drop your forehead down. And then shift your weight forward onto your hands and knees so that your hands are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips for cat-cow. As you inhale, you'll open your heart, lift your tailbone, sink your rib cage down, and lift your chin away from your chest. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, round your spine, hollow your belly, and bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, open your heart, lift your tailbone, extend your spine. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tailbone, and hollow your belly. One more time, inhale to open. Exhale to flex and around. Inhale back to a neutral spine, and we're going to do spinal balance next. So you'll take your right leg and extend it straight back, flexing your heel. Be aware if you're hiking your hip up, you want your hips level. And then extend your left arm straight out by your left ear with your thumb pointing up to the sky. So you're reaching from your left middle finger out through your right heel. Pull your belly in and up. Take one more breath. And then place your hand and your knee down, and let's switch sides. Left leg, right arm. Inhale, reach from your right middle finger to your left heel, flex it, thumb to the sky, belly pulled in, reaching long, and then go ahead and release it down. Let's move one breath per movement, so left arm, right leg, inhale, exhale, put it down and switch sides. So we're just gonna continue to flow, lifting and lowering with your breath. Be aware that you wanna pull that belly in and up, so you're really stabilizing from the center of your body and you're moving with awareness. Good, one more time on each side, just an easy core stabilizer called spinal balance. Last one, and place the hand and the knee down. Good, we're sitting back to child's pose again. This time I want you to bring your hands back by your feet with your palms turning to the sky. Drop your forehead down and breathe into your low back. So fill your low back with air. And then keeping your hips back onto your heels, walk your hands as far forward as you can so your elbows are completely extended. Spread your fingertips out wide. And then shift forward, we're gonna come into our first downward dog. So curling the toes, lifting the hips up. Remember if your hamstrings are tight, you wanna bend your knees a little bit. 
Let's pedal out the heels, bend the left knee, drop the right heel down, try to reach that heel to the back edge of your mat, and then switch, bending the right knee, dropping the left heel down. Continue to pedal it right and left, so you're really getting that good stretch through the calf, Achilles, back of the ankle, one more time on each side. And then both heels sinking down. We're going to rise up to the balls of the feet as you inhale. Exhale, press the ribs back to the thighs and drop the heels down. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the ribs back to the thighs and drop the heels. One more time. Inhale, lift up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press your ribs back to your thighs and drop your heels. On your next breath in, come to plank pose. Always really important, no matter what sport you play or what activity you participate in on a daily basis, strengthening your core is crucial. So you want to pull your belly in, press through your palms, and as we hold this, keep breathing nice and smooth, open your chest, shift a little bit into your toes, and then bend your elbows, slide by your rib cage as you lower down to your mat. Starting with the baby cobra, we're going to inhale, open the heart. Again, if your back is feeling a little tight, feel free to stay a little lower. It's all good. If your back's feeling a little more flexible, press up a little higher. Hug the elbows in. Make sure your shoulders are not hiked up to your ears, but rather pulling down. Release all the way onto your stomach and press back to child's pose. We're going to do that a few more times. So inhale, draw forward to plank. You can keep your plank modified by keeping the knees bent to the mat. Otherwise, legs squeeze straight for full plank. Shift a little bit into your toes, bend your elbows, lower down. Point your toes, inhale to your back bend, warming up your spine. And from here, pressing straight back into child's pose. Hips to heels. One more time, inhale to either modified or full plank with straight legs. Engage your core muscles. Shift into your toes, bend your elbows lower down. Inhale, point your toes, open your heart. This is so good for your posture, especially for cyclists, runners, triathletes, keeping the posture lifted. Go ahead and push through the palms, settle the hips back onto the heels, child's pose. On your next inhale, shift into your hands, curl your toes back into downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And then looking up to your hands, walk your feet forward to the front edge of your mat. It may take you several steps or just two big steps. Either way, it's all good. Hands to your shins, halfway lift. Pull your belly in, pull your shoulders back. Stretch from the crown of your head out through your tailbone. And as you exhale, round your spine and fold yourself in half. You can keep your knees bent here as well. Inhale, halfway lift. If you are more flexible, you're welcome to reach your fingertips by your pinky toes, otherwise shins. Exhale, forward fold, chin to chest, nose to knees. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Pull the belly in, feel the reach from the top of your head out through your tailbone. And fold in half, rounding your spine, chin to chest. Coming all the way up to standing, you can support with your hands on your thighs if you like. Otherwise, just reaching your arms all the way out and up. Take a big breath in, letting your palms touch over your head. And exhale, draw your hands back to your heart center. Just take a moment to ground through all four corners of your feet and bring your awareness back to your posture. Beginning with a sun salutation now, we're going to inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, take a dive out of it, folding in half. Inhale, halfway lift, looking forward and extending your spine. Exhale, fold in half again and lunge back with your right foot. So I want you to take that right foot as far back to the back edge of your mat as you can, but make sure your left knee is right out over your left ankle. Squeeze your right knee straight. Think of lifting through your chest, opening your heart, and pulling your shoulders back from your ears. One more breath here. We're going straight to plank pose. I want you to try the best you can to pick that foot straight up. 
so it doesn't drag on your mat. And step back to plank, having awareness on your core. Shift into your toes. Again, feel free to modify by bending your knees. Inhale into your cobra. Feel free to go into upward facing dog onto the tops of your feet if your back's feeling more open and flexible today. Exhale, roll over your toes and lift up using your core, landing in downward facing dog. Look to your hands, step your right foot up and in between your hands. Help it forward if it needs so that your knee's out over your ankle. Follow through, that your back foot meets your front foot, line up your toes. Halfway lift, take a huge breath. Exhale, fold, chin to chest, nose to knees. Push through your feet, come up to standing, take a deep breath in and reach up and back, so gentle back bend. Exhale, dive out, we'll begin again on the left leg, forward fold. Inhale, look forward, really try to breathe in deeply as you extend your spine. Exhale, fold in half and take a big lunge back with your left foot. So take that left foot as far back as you can. Squeeze the knee straight so you're feeling the stretch of the left hip flexor. Open your chest, make sure your right knee is right out over your right ankle. Lift your heart a little higher, pulling your shoulders back from your ears. Take a deep breath. And then remember, we want to try to pick that right foot straight up so it's not dragging on the mat as you step back. Take some core strength and a little bit of practice. Plank pose here, full body strength. Shift a little into your toes, bend your elbows, lower down. Inhale into your cobra. Or feel free to push into your upward facing dogs so here on the tops of your feet. Either way, open your heart and breathe deeply. Use your core to lift your hips up to the sky, landing in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And then looking to your hands, step your left foot up and through your hands. Again, help it forward if it needs by just grabbing that foot and moving it to the front edge of your mat. Step forward with your right foot so your toes are going to line up. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold in half. Rise up to standing with your breath in. A little bit of a back bend so you're reaching slightly up and back. And exhale, pause with your hands at heart center. Let's begin again and go a little faster. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, look forward and extend your spine. Exhale, fold and lunge back with your right foot. Lift your chest, pull your shoulders back, squeeze your right knee straight. Step back to plank without dragging that foot. Engage your whole body strength, vinyasa, so you can come halfway down if you like to, so elbows come halfway. Or feel free to go all the way to the mat. On your inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, back bend. Exhale, use your core and press back to downward facing dog. Take an inhale, look to your hands, step your right foot up through your hands, help it forward if it needs, lift your chest, step your left foot up to meet your right foot, line up your toes. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Come up to standing, reach for the sky, a little bit of a back bend, and exhale, dive out of it, and we'll repeat it on the left side. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, big lunge back with your left foot. Slide that left foot back, but lift your chest, squeeze your left knee straight, breathe in, and then don't drag that foot. Use your core to pick that foot up and step to plank. Full body strength here. Open your heart, pull your shoulders back. Bend your elbows, half push up if you want to. Inhale to your back bend. And exhale, use your core and land in downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths in downward dog. Now we're getting a little warmer. Focus on dropping your heels pulling your toes up to get that good stretch. Remember, you can certainly bend your knees if your hamstrings are tight. 
take one more breath here. And then look to your hands, step your left foot up, place it between your hands, help it forward if it needs. Step your right foot up to meet your left foot, line up your toes, halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up to standing with your breath in. And exhale with your hands at heart center. We're going to bend our knees and come into chair pose. So I'd like for you to have your big toes together to touch and your knees together for this pose today. And I want you to squeeze your inner thighs towards each other and feel the weight shift back into your heels so your toes feel really light and you can wiggle your toes. Sit a little bit deeper. Pull your belly in. Tuck your tailbone a little bit. And then if you want to, you can reach your arms out and up. But if that tweaks your back in any way, feel free to keep your hands at heart center. Sit a little bit deeper. Reach a little higher if you do have your arms extended. And then we're going to come up to standing. So that was a little leg strength there, a little leg endurance. Exhale into forward fold. We are going to add on some warrior poses now. Halfway lift. Breathing in. Exhale, fold, lunge back with your right foot. Good. We're going to step into warrior one here. So I'd like for you to go ahead and pivot your right heel flat. Keep your left knee right out over your left ankle. You can press your left, your hands into your left thigh if you like, and then reach your arms all the way out and up for warrior one. So you're drawing your hips and your shoulders level and forward. Deep bend into that knee, arms stretching long, and breath is smooth and deep as well. Three deep breaths in and out through your nose. And I don't know if you can see the lily pads here in the background too, but what a beautiful view. Take one more breath and really reach. And then hands down on either side of your front foot. Lift your back heel up so you're pivoting. And then lifting that foot up so you're using your core. Step to plank. Breathing in. Exhale, bend your elbows half or all the way down. Inhale into your back bend. Stay with it. Use your core. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to your hands and step your feet forward to the front edge of your mat. Take a minute to line up your toes. Halfway lift again. Inhale. Exhale, fold yourself in half. Come up to standing. Take a deep breath in. Little back bend, reach up and back. And then exhale, bend your knees and sit back into your chair pose. So remember, the toes are together, the knees are together. You're squeezing your inner thighs and that attaches in and up to the belly and the abdominal wall. Weight is back into the heels. Toes are light so you can wiggle those toes around. Feel free to stay where you are with your arms or reach them up by your ears. You remember, you wanna tuck your tailbone just a little bit so that you're keeping your spine neutral. Sit a little deeper if you can, reach a little higher and then stand up, reaching up and back, come into forward fold. Excellent job, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, big lunge back with your left foot. Lift your chest, shoulders back. Go ahead and pivot that left heel flat to your mat. Keep your right knee right out over your right ankle. You can certainly use your hands for support to push yourself up or just reach your arms out and up in a big circle. Bend your right knee. Now draw your hips and your shoulders level. Keep that knee bending so that the thigh is as parallel to the ground as you can get it. Reach a little higher energy through your fingertips for one more breath. And then hands down on either side of your right foot. Lift up your left heel and step to plank, picking that right foot straight up so it doesn't drag. Bend your elbows half or all the way down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, use your core to lift your hips up to the sky and land in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose, really ground yourself in your pose. And then look to your hands and walk your feet forward to the front edge of your mat, lining up your toes. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. And 
then come all the way up to standing on an inhale. We're gonna do that one more time, a little bit faster, so you get nice and warm. Exhale, bend your knees, and sit down into your chair. Option to add the arms, if you wish. Don't forget to squeeze to the midline and make sure the weight's back into your heels so that your toes are light. Take one more breath, sit a little deeper, and then stand up, reach up and back, and come into forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, lunge back with your right foot. Lift your heart, pull your shoulders back, and then use your core to step to plank. Oh, sorry, we're going into warrior first. So pivot your right heel flat. You thought I was gonna forget about that? No way. <laughs> inhale, rise up. That's what we're here for. The warrior poses, the reminder to do hard things, get out of your comfort zone, and challenge yourself. Balanced out, of course, with the chill power, which is coming soon enough. <laughs> Take one more breath. And exhale, hands down on either side of your left foot. Pivot your right heel up. Now we'll step into our plank using your core. Optional vinyasa. So if you are getting tired, feel free to go straight to downward facing dog. Otherwise, bend your elbows. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. So you can always take that vinyasa part out and just go straight from plank to downward facing. One more breath here. Then step forward. Toes line up, frontage of your mat. Stay with it. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Come all the way up to standing. Inhale, little back bend. Rise up and reach for the sky. Exhale, back into chair. Awareness on your feet, your belly, your inner thighs, and how it all attaches together. Take one more breath, see if you can sit a little deeper and reach a little higher, and then stand up and back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Round your spine and fold in half. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, big lunge back with your left foot. Lift your heart, pull your shoulders back, and then pivot your left heel flat for warrior one. Keeping your right knee right out over your right ankle, rise up. And really work into the biggest expression of this pose that you could create. So you're really reaching for the sky, but you're sinking your hips really low. One more breath. Hands down on either side of your right foot. Lift up your left heel. Pick up your right foot to plank. Again, remember you can go straight into downward facing here, or you can do the vinyasa by bending your elbows, lifting your heart, and landing in downward dog. Now, the reason I give you that option to skip it is because I'd rather you skip it than do it sloppy or tired. Take a few breaths in downward dog. And that's where the less is more comes in. It's better to have good form and do it well than to just kind of go through the motions with fatigue. One more breath in downward dog. And then go ahead and step your feet forward to the front edge of your mat. And line up your toes. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to child's pose. Right knee back, left knee back, hips to heels and forehead to the mat. So your palms are gonna face the sky and your forehead will drop down for three breaths in and out through your nose. Go ahead and sit up, and we're gonna move into some stretches now. So hopefully that sequence got you a little bit warmer, and we're gonna open up the hips and the hamstrings um, and calves and quads. So from where you are, you can come back into downward facing dog, and we're gonna work into pigeon. So pigeon is a hip stretch. 
you just want to pull your right knee to your right wrist, point your left toes, and slide your left toes back. You want to lift and open your chest a little bit. And then from here, you're going to go ahead and work your forearms down to the mat. Now you have the option to stack your fists on top of each other if you like, and rest your forehead on your fists. If you are a little bit more flexible, you can have your forehead resting on your hands. And even more flexible, you can walk your hands all the way forward and drop your arms down. So whatever feels good for you is the right way to do it. The important part is, is that you surrender, you let go, and you let the stretch just happen with gravity doing the work. So deep breaths in and out through your nose. One more huge breath in. Exhale completely and see if you can surrender and relax that hip even more. And then go ahead and sit yourself up a little bit using your hands to support you. Now what you're gonna do is sit down on your right hip. Okay, and then from there you're gonna swing your left leg around so that your left foot crosses over your right knee like this. Now bring awareness to your sitting bones and posture and try to level them out the best you can. Now if you're really inflexible in this area, you can always have your left foot inside of your knee, but ideally on the outside is where you're working towards. Okay, sit up as tall as you can so your shoulders and your hips are level. You're going to take your right hand, put it on the outside of your left knee, and pull your left knee towards your right shoulder. This is such a great stretch for the outside of your hip and attaching into the outside of your left thigh and into your IT band. So if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can bring the elbow into the, the crook of the elbow into the knee. And the more that you use the strength of your arm to pull your knee towards your shoulder, the more you're going to feel the stretch. Take one more breath. See if you can sit a little bit taller. And as you exhale this time, look out over your left shoulder and add a little bit of a twist, a gentle twist to the spine. Take one more breath here. and rotate out of it. So all you're gonna do now is just put this left shin right out in front of the right shin. <clears throat> and your knees might not be level, and that's okay. You're gonna feel a stretch either way. If you're comfortable, bring your hands out in front of you and walk your hands as far forward as possible. Drop your head down between your arms so your chin is falling towards your chest. Try to breathe into your low back and each time you exhale, see if you can just walk your fingertips a little more forward. Go ahead and walk your, your hands back towards your legs, sit your chest up tall, and make your way back to child's pose. So your hips are back onto your heels, and your forehead is resting down to the mat. Let's bring the hands back by the feet again so the palms are facing up with a deep breath into your low back. And then walking your hands forward, extend your elbows straight, spread your fingertips out wide, and then make your way into downward facing dog. Step your left knee up to your left wrist for pigeon, half pigeon on the side, point your right toe, slide your right foot back, and then go ahead and bring your forearms down to your mat. Again, you can rest your head on two fists stacked on top of each other, or palms stacked on top of each other, or walk your hands all the way forward, whatever feels good for you, but really allow yourself to surrender and let go and breathe deeply and just let gravity do the work. So you spend so much time moving forward um, you know, whether you're training for a cycling event or a marathon or half marathon, we're always in forward motion. <laughs> um, so for now, just focus on surrendering into the stillness and allowing gravity to just do the work for you. Just for now. Take one more breath. Exhale, relax. Let it go. and then support yourself up to sitting. We're gonna go ahead and drop this left hip down and then 
swing your right foot around so that your right foot crosses on the outside of your left knee if you can, otherwise on the inside of the knee is all good. Either way, you want to have awareness that your sitting bones and hips are level, as level as possible. You can sit up really tall so you're lifting your chest and opening your heart always. Left hand on the outside of your right knee so you're pulling that knee towards your left shoulder and that's going to give you the deeper stretch. You feel it in your hip and maybe all, all along the outside of your thigh. Now if you want to take that um, elbow into the knee, you certainly can and work it a little bit deeper. Okay, on your next inhale, sit up even taller and as you exhale, look over your shoulder gently twisting your spine. One more breath, and rotate out of it. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and bring the right shin in front of the left, so you're just sitting with crossed legs. Hands out in front of you. The more you practice this, the easier it becomes. Just sitting on the floor is a wonderful thing to do. Walk your hands as far out in front of you as you can. Drop your head so that your chin is falling towards your chest. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, see if you can walk just a little bit further. Take one more breath, and then slowly walk your hands back towards your legs. Bring your hands underneath your knees, and bring your feet Good. So from here we're going to do um, cobbler's pose or butterfly. It's sometimes called. You can grab onto your ankles and pull your heels a little closer to the groin. As you shift your weight forward, you're going to bring your elbows into the creases of your knees. Getting a nice groin inner thigh stretch. Remember, you can use the strength of your arms here to assist you until a slightly deeper stretch, but you don't want to be forceful. You don't want to push. Let's take one more breath here. And then slowly bring it up. Hands underneath your knees. Bring your knees together. Now we're going to finish off with some hamstring stretches and some reclined twists. So you can go ahead and lie down on your back. And we're going to start with the left knee bent, left foot on the ground. Pull your right knee into your chest. Just give it a nice hug. Thigh to rib cage so you're releasing your low back. And then kick your right heel up towards the ceiling or the sky. Interlace your fingers underneath your right thigh. Just have awareness of your neck here too. So you just want to pull your chin a little bit to your chest so the back of your neck is long. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, you can deepen the stretch by gently pulling on the hamstring, drawing the thigh a little closer to your rib cage. Take a few more breaths here, and if you're comfortable, you can go ahead and slide your left leg out as well, so you get a little bit more of a hip flexor stretch on that left side. And then go ahead and bend your right knee into your chest and give it a hug again. If you haven't already um, put your left leg out straight, go ahead and slide it out straight. And then left hand on the outside of your right knee, pull your right knee over towards your left side so you're getting a nice twist through the low back. I like to take my toes and hook them behind, my right toes and hook them behind my left knee. You can see if that works for you. If not, feel free to just put that right foot down onto the floor and work your right knee in the direction of the floor for one more breath. And then go ahead and bring it all the way back to center. The right foot's going to be flat, the right knee bent, and the left leg's going to come straight up towards the sky. Take your hands and interlace them underneath your left thigh. Relax your shoulders, have awareness again that your neck is neutral, so chin gently towards the chest, back of the neck long. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, gently encourage that thigh to come a little bit closer to the rib cage, deepening the stretch. If you'd like to slide your right leg out straight, go ahead and do that as well. 
Make sure you're relaxing your shoulders, not creating tension there. Take one more breath. If your right leg isn't straight already, go ahead and slide it out straight and then pull your left knee into your chest. Give it a big hug so you're releasing your low back. And then take your right hand outside of your left knee and twist your spine. So you're drawing your left knee over towards your right, right hand on top of your left knee to give it a little press. Left arm out straight. Again, feel free to hook your left toes behind your right knee if that feels good for you. Take a very deep breath. Exhale, relax and surrender into your twist. And bring it all the way back to center. Put the left foot down. Go ahead and bend at the right knee. We're gonna finish up with reclined uh, butterfly pose. So the feet together and the knees together. The knees drop out to the side so that the bottoms of the feet roll together to touch. And you can rest your hands onto your stomach and relax your eyes closed. Again, this is a gravity assisted pose. So you just want to allow the knees to fall down towards the ground, getting that nice stretch through the groin inner thigh. With your hands resting onto your belly, feel your belly rise and fall with the breath. Welcome to stay in this pose for your Shavasana and pose of stillness. Otherwise, feel free to extend the legs all the way out straight. Give them a little shake, palms up to the sky, walk your shoulders slightly down and slightly in. And then just take the next few minutes to allow your body to fall into stillness, surrendering, practicing the balance between willpower and doing hard things and chill power and the importance of resting and recharging. Settle in to every cell of your body. Try to stay right here in the present moment for just another breath or two. And then slowly begin to move your fingers and your toes, wiggle everything around. And when you're ready, pull your right knee into your chest followed by your left. Give yourself a hug in gratitude for the time that you have carved out of your busy schedule to practice self-care. You can roll over onto one side in a fetal position. Let your head rest onto your arm like a pillow so the back of your neck is in line with your spine. 
and then use the hand that's out in front of you to press down to lift yourself back up. Finishing in a seated position where we started, cross your legs, bring awareness back to your posture, lift and open your chest. Bring your hands together in prayer. Let's take a deep breath in as we reach the arms out and up in a big circle. And exhale, bring the hands back to heart center. Namaste.